look at it. <laughs> Girl, did y'all see? <laughs> Somebody pulled a high stop in California. All right guys, so here's the items you're gonna need for salmon wellington spinach. I'm also gonna be putting mushrooms in with my spinach, white wine, butter, garlic, eggs. I'm gonna use some lemon zest, red onion, of course the salmon. I have pepper and garlic salt, cream cheese, Parmesan, and then I'm gonna be using this instead of puff pastry because I couldn't find the whole sheets. I'll go ahead and season my salmon with garlic salt and pepper. Most of the recipes I saw, they didn't heavily season the salmon, so I'm just gonna go basic with mine too, y'all, okay? I'm gonna let this sit in the refrigerator while I do the rest of the preparation. All right, I'm gonna chop up these mushrooms pretty finely. Grate some lemon zest. Then I'm gonna chop some red onion. I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil, some butter. Let's do half of that, actually. Add in the red onions. Two tablespoons of the garlic, y'all. Add a half a cup of the wine. Then we're gonna let this simmer for 20 minutes. Now I'm gonna add in the mushrooms. Now we're gonna throw in the spinach. Some of that butter that I took out earlier is going back in there. Lemon zest. A couple tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. Five ounces of cream cheese. And then salt and pepper to taste, y'all. All right, y'all, so here's the filling. I don't know if I overdid it on the cream cheese or not, but it tastes good, y'all. It tastes delicious. I'm really fighting the urge to put an egg in this to make the filling, like, really firm once it bakes. I really want to do that, y'all, but I ain't seen nobody do that. So, I guess I won't do it. So, I'm going to take the crescent rolls. I ain't seen nobody using crescent, y'all, but, hey, this is my only option, so we're going to just do it and pray. That's not good. We didn't need you to be open already. Dang. I was trying to make two of them, but I don't think I have enough dough for two. First of all, I'm trying to close up these holes. Now all you do is put the salmon on there and add your stuff. I think. Now I'm going to add this piece on top. I'm trying to close up my holes. It'll bake fine. I need some more on this edge right here. This looks like a mess so far, huh? A real mess. I'm gonna try a little bit, but I don't wanna do too much. And as this thing is fragile, as y'all can see. Yikes. Look for the um puff pastry, that's what I'm gonna say. Look for that, y'all, cause this, this croissant is just a mess. Why did I not do that on the baking sheet, guys? <laughs> Why am I trying to transfer this shit now? Oh my god. Well, y'all learned it from my mistakes. Okay. Alright, that didn't go too bad. Alright, so now egg wash for the top. Ooh, poor baby. Poor baby looking rough. Ooh. Alrighty, guys. We're gonna throw them in the oven. 420. No. 400 for 25 minutes, y'all. All right, guys, so I'm also doing twice baked potatoes. So I've already air fried some potatoes and I'm gonna scoop out the inside. Now I'm gonna add some butter. Add whatever seasoning you want. I'm just gonna do uh, pepper and garlic salt. Next, we're gonna add in some sour cream. Make it as creamy as you want it. Now I'm gonna add some cheese, some green onion. Then I'm gonna refill my potatoes. 
close them up a little bit and then add a little more cheese on top and sprinkle a few more of those green onion pop that back in the oven for 15 20 minutes or until the cheese look is looking nice and bubbly look at the wellington y'all it still has five minutes to go but look how brown it is i'm really afraid because the crust is looking great but i need to keep it in there for five minutes according to the recipe so hope it doesn't get too brown okay finally i'm gonna be making some asparagus y'all i got this on high high heat because i want to cook it fast but I don't want it to get too flimsy, so we still gonna have a nice bite to it. I'll let this heat up as high as I possibly can. Alright, so I'm gonna throw this carrot in. These little garlic, salt, and pepper. I'm gonna throw some butter in. And about a tablespoon of garlic. A little bit of Italian seasoning. Finish this off with a little bit of Parmesan and lemon. Quick squeeze of lemon. And we are done, baby. Look at the Wellington, y'all. Ooh, ooh. So what I did was, when I just showed, when I showed it to you guys when it had five minutes left, I ended up putting some foil on top so it wouldn't get any more brown. And I just let it stay in there for, I actually let it stay in there for about 10 more minutes. Cause I'm so scared that the salmon ain't gonna be cooked. We about to crack this shit open and see how it tastes, y'all. Look at this. Look at it. Oh, why is my battery about to go out? <laughs> y'all, y'all don't know how long I started this. Two and a half hours ago. I just want to be done. Why is my battery about to go out? So now I gotta get up. Go change the battery. Come back. Samuel Wellington is already cooled off so much. I'll be back, y'all. So, this is what we're going to start doing, y'all. Me and you, us. Instead of feeding into things that happen that aren't that great, like my battery going out when I've already been sitting up here for two hours and my food is already, already getting cold, think about the bright side. There has to be some good in it some kind of way. Okay, so my bright side was at least I didn't start the video and my battery died. I didn't know. Now, I don't even have a video for y'all. Okay, after I did all that work. Okay, so I'm going to be happy that my battery just didn't die. And I didn't, didn't know. Also, I didn't have my mic plugged in. So, because I went and changed my battery, I realized I didn't have my mic plugged in. So, now y'all get to have better, better audio. Hello? There's, a, there's good in everything, y'all. I mean, maybe not everything, but... Whew. I'm so damn tired. Okay, let, let me open this up, y'all. Because, first of all, I'm nervous that it may not be uh, cooked all the way. Please be cooked all the way. Because I don't like salmon tartare like some people do. Okay. Now I ended up cooking it for 30 minutes. I saw people cooking it for 20 and theirs was just fine. So I'm uh, assuming mine will be too. Shoot. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah. This is definitely cooked. Y'all see it? Mmm. Bring the dye light down a little bit so you can see the pink. But yeah, definitely cooked. So, so far I'm going to say don't be scared like me and do the 25 minutes. Maybe even 20. Okay, let me try it, y'all. I'm excited. What side should I try? I'm going to try this side. I'm let y'all look at that side. I'm expecting this to be delicious. Because, I mean, I love those croissants. So, the bread got to be good. The filling was amazing when I tasted it. And this salmon, I mean, how, how much? I, I'm doing this with my hands, y'all. I don't have time. So hot. That's a lot. It's good, though. Mmm. 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 That bite with that extra crust was real good. Who the I feel like I would do something different, though, y'all. Number one, definitely cook it shorter, okay? Because, yeah, I mean, it's still soft. Let me see. It's still soft. It was, like, on the verge, though, but this shit's still soft. Mm-hmm. 
It's still nice and tender. This is good. I think I would put less cream cheese. I definitely overdid it a little bit on the cream cheese. Mmm. Yeah, that's good. So this is the last. Hold on. So this was the last video in my which TikTok recipe y'all want me to try. So I need some more suggestions, y'all. Mmm. Perfect. Oh, this is really good. I do wish that I could have had the right dough that everybody's using, which is the puff, puff pastry sheets, I believe. I couldn't, I found puff pastry, but there was only the small ones. So it wouldn't have covered the whole thing. But I would really love to know how it tastes with that. Probably amazing. It is very rich. So go easy on your seasoning. I went very easy on, easy on mine and I'm happy I did. So I feel like it would have just been too much. Twice baked potato. So how y'all doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing real good. I um worked heavily during last week. Today is Sunday. I worked heavily last week y'all. So I had so much footage and I spent like Friday doing a lot of editing. Plus we still in tax season. So I'm having to do that too. Um, but this weekend, <laughs> I was like, mm-mm. Get somebody else to do all of it, okay? I felt like a straight loser. <laughs> One day I don't even think I moved. <laughs> like I barely moved. I was like, ooh, I feel so bad. And it's so silly because usually I'm moving a lot. So it's like I can't give myself one day to be like, don't do shit. Well, I feel bad. I started watching this old um, series, Kaleidoscope. It was pretty cool. I haven't even finished it, actually. But the concept was cool and different. Like, you can watch the video. I mean, you can watch the series in any order you want. It's like, is it nine episodes? And you can like go to start at uh, four, let's say, and then switch it up however you want. They started me. I didn't really know what was going on at first. They started me like in the middle, I think. But I love where they started me at though, because it gave me, like it introduced everybody. And then I personally wanted to do chronological order, so I did that, y'all. But yeah, it's a cool, cool show. About a heist. Speaking of heist, y'all. Girl, did y'all see? <laughs> Somebody pulled a heist off in California. Like, pretty close. It's not LA. But it's probably like 30 minutes north of LA. They did a heist, y'all. Of a, um. They call it a money storage facility. So they deal with, like, ATMs and the armored trucks i guess they go there to store the money before it goes wherever else so who knew they even had 30 million in there they said most of the employees didn't even know it was that much money stored in there 30 million was stolen it was done on easter and they didn't know shit until they went into the vault on monday morning so you know generally It'll be like all kind of alarms going off. None of that happened. Yeah, none of that happened. They also said, you couldn't even tell the vault was tampered with. I said, that sounds like an inside job. So you telling me somebody got in and out of there with no heavy alarm going off and they got into the vault without it looking tampered with? Hmm, okay. Somebody knew all them codes, right? I would think that's a definite inside job. But they got away, y'all. I wonder if they gonna really get away with this. Like, really, really, really get away with this. Where they at? Where they at, y'all? Where would you go? What's the best place to go to? Where you won't get caught or most likely won't get caught. 30 million? Somebody said, you know what? <laughs> 
I'm about to be rich today. Mm. That was crazy. If you ever, let's say your partner did that shit, right? But you at home just, and then they, they rush home. Babe, pack your shit up right now. I done did a heist and I, <laughs> I got 30 million. What you doing? Are you packing your shit up and leaving? Or are you gonna be like, hell no, I ain't about to be no accomplice to this shit. Damn. I don't even know. Damn. Cause I, I, I can't go to jail, y'all. I cannot go to jail. Mm. I'll be terrified. Like, we driving to Mexico or wherever they going. And then if you, nah. If you taking a flight, how you where the money? Where do you have 30 million at? Cause double bag shows the 30 million dollars? Nah, we can't do that. You gotta drive somewhere, don't you? I feel like somebody gonna get caught. Oh, the thing is, they probably gonna do something dumb. Let me go over here splurging. Let me go get a mansion. Two Bentleys. Who knows? If they're all dumb about it, they probably they might not get caught. Y'all, I'm done. This was great. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say two thumbs up, but try to find the real uh, pastry uh, puffs or puff pastry sheet. And I feel like it would have been so much better with that. And I would tone down my cream cheese uh, measurement as well. But overall, this is a definite thumbs up. Out of my three things I did, oh, they were all good, y'all. I did the deviled egg burger. That was good. That croissant was great, <laughs> but don't even try that. That was just ratchetness. This was good. I think my favorite would be my favorite and most realistic, cause I ain't about to eat that croissant. The deviled egg cheeseburger. But this is cool though. This is cool. It's very rich though. This is super rich for me. It's like the croissant is buttery. The damn, uh, the salmon. Salmon is very fatty, so it's like, more oil and you know it's it's rich <laughs> okay rich so be ready you love rich foods this is definitely for you all right y'all well thank you for being here i was gonna read something out of my book but i feel like i got enough time so we'll do something next time this is the thing i'm doing for daily meditations y'all it's a really good book by don miguel Luis, the guy who wrote four agreements Anyway, I'm about to go. Please follow me on TikTok at Steph Loves Love. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, comment, let me know what you think. Let me know what other um, recipes you want me to try and DM me at Steph Loves Love if you got some links. Because that's even better. Um, until next time, only good vibes. Peace.